Well, hi there, everyone. Farmston Gamer here. Welcome back to Calmston and uh, beautiful autumn morning, as you can see. Um, and we managed to finish up uh, last episode, getting all of our bales cleared um, out of here, field three, and over the road in field six. Um, so that was kind of a good job. Um, and we got all of our bales uh, tucked away over in the uh, shed next to the cows there. Um, so uh, that's all good. We did manage to sell a few of them, um, but hopefully we've kind of kept enough uh, to see us through the winter months. Now we've got some busy days ahead of us now that we're into the autumn and um, we've dragged the 8RX out uh, we're going to stick him on the Cavernland cultivator there uh, he know, needs to go off and do fields um, 16 and 25 uh, so we can get those prepped and ready for drilling um, so uh, that's one of our first tasks today I'm going to give him a quick wash down before uh, we stick him on the cultivator take him up the road and um, if we just have a quick look at the animals um, they kind of seem to be doing okay the cows are all right we've got enough feed for them um, but I think the sheep are are in need of a little bit of um, hay and some water as well so we need to sort those out at some point today. And just a quick recap on where we finished up with our field work. Um, you may remember we had to put lime down on field 19. 20 was okay, but we had to take care of the weeds. Uh, we put lime on fields 23, and then we came back over and did field 16 and also field 25. Um, now, it's pretty expensive doing that lime. Um, I think we filled up that uh, lime spreader about four or five times, and it was just under £5,000 a pop, so um, pretty expensive. Now, if we have a look at the weeds, um, we've still got weeds in fields 3 and 6, but I'm going to leave those under stubble, and we're going to put a spring crop in those um, so I'm not going to worry about those too much at the moment still got weeds in field 25 but we'll cultivate those in uh, today so uh, that'll be okay um, and then obviously we're going to cultivate field 16 as well and then in addition to that I also need to get our oil seed rape drilled in fields 19 um, over in field 20 and field 23 as well so we're going to be pretty busy um, and uh, in addition to that I also need to get some grass work done so first job is to uh, get the cultivating underway. Um, so I'm just going to give the 8RX a little bit of a wash down. It got pretty filthy um, doing all that lime work um, the other day. Uh, so I'll get him uh, washed off, um, filled up with diesel as well. I think he's only got about half a tank, something like that. Um, and then I'll uh, get it uh, hooked up to the cultivator and we'll have him sent up to field 25. Now, as I mentioned in uh, episode one, one thing I'm trying to do with this series is uh, combine um, a little bit of sort of good old farming simulator gameplay with a little bit of role play. So having our bailing contractor um, uh, come and kind of help us with some of the work rather than just sort of leasing um, bits of kit from the shop. And uh, then also kind of trying to introduce um, some elements of real farming that I know um, local farmers in my area do. Now, they might not be things um, that you have to do in farming simulator, but I wanted to kind of introduce some of those elements just to make um, this sort of gameplay a little bit more realistic. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'll go into course play. Um, just go into the main menu here. I'll create a new job and uh, I'll click through to, oh, gone too far, CP field work um, and uh, target position. I'm just going to put down in the bottom corner of the field there um, and uh, just sort of point him in the other direction. There we go. And then uh, the field position, I don't think that matters to kind of too much. I'm just going to drop that in the field here. Um, I won't worry about the first waypoint just at the moment. Uh, I'll do the course generation. So we've got uh, the um, 7.6 meters set as standard. Only a single tool. I'm going to do the headlands at three. I'm um, going to start in the middle. Uh, sharp turns. Uh, I'll just nudge that overlap down to 7%. Um, and then I'm going to skip a row as well. So um, sometimes with bigger implements, you kind of need a bit of turning space. Uh, so I'll generate the course. Um, hopefully that will pop up in the field. There we go. And um, I'll uh, then get him underway. So I'll... Um, just change yeah that's first waypoints that's all good I'll just hit the little start button there um, and uh, there we go he's unfolding the implement and heading down to uh, the bottom corner um, so uh, as you can see we put lime in this field um, you might have also noticed on the map as well that this had a 25 uh, or sorry a 50% fertilization state um, in it um, and I actually had the um, chopped straw kind of mod um, but I decided to turn that off because I thought in real terms, in real life, you kind of wouldn't really expect um, chopped straw to kind of give you a full fertilization state. It does obviously help because it's uh, a little bit of organic matter that goes back into the soil. Um, but I decided to turn that off. But we did get um, a, a, a sort of a half uh, stage of fertilization kind of on this um, on this field to start with. But uh, that'll be the last time that I kind of do that. Uh, so I'm going to leave him um, to crack on with this, um, and I need to go back up to the main farm. And my next task is to get the um, uh, John Deere 6230R um, uh, hooked up to um, the Vaderstad drill and uh, get him off to um, field 19 to start drilling that oil seed rape. 
Right, he's all set and ready to go. Um, so we fill up the seed and uh, we're just going to head off down to field 19. Um, now these uh, little country lanes are pretty tight. Um, I have to say with a bit big bit of kit on the back like this, um, they're uh, a bit of a squeeze coming down here. Um, and uh, during the harvest last year, I um, drove a 615R uh, with a Richard Weston trailer on the back during grain cart for a local farm and uh, pretty much the same tractor as this. And uh, I can certainly say it's a bit tight going down some of the little country lanes and they're very similar to this in my part of the world. Um, so um, it can definitely be a, a bit interesting if you meet another one coming in the opposite direction or a lorry or something like that. Right, we're um, just up at the gate here. Uh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze to get in here as well. Um, I think I've overjudged it there. I just need to back up a little bit um, and uh, try again. Um, I'm not sure if there's another way into this field, actually. I know there's a bit of a low hedge right at the top that we could probably go over, but I think I'm just about to make it just about um so right we'll pull into the field and i'll get uh, course play um set up as well and um there's a little bit of a clump of trees here uh, that you can kind of see just at the top of the picture there that we um uh, will need to kind of navigate around so um right i'll just get the course play menu up and uh, we'll get this set up okay so i need to create job again go to um course play field work uh, target position i'm just going to drop that down um, in front of the tractor there. I think the start point will be somewhere else, but um, I'll just drop that in there. Field position, I don't think it really matters. I'll just sort of drop that in the corner, uh, and then I'll go to generate the course. Um, so I'll just check that the um, the vehicle width is correct, 7.9 metres. Yeah, it's 8 metre drill, but that's fine. Three lots around the headland. Uh, we'll do centre work. I'll do sharp corners. Uh, clockwise, that's fine. 7% overlap. Um, and then I think... Uh, I will skip a row again I think with this um, the drill's quite wide so missing a row might kind of help in terms of turning things around and I just need to make sure that that bypassing of that clump of trees is going to be okay I think I'll leave that on circle but I'll just click on the generate field course um, sometimes they can take a little bit longer when you've got um, uh, something to navigate around up that little clump of trees but there we go the course has uh, come up um, and the start point is way up the other end of the field um, and it's kind of not on an edge either um, it'd be interesting to see how that kind of works out right uh, well I'll get him underway um, I'll just um, get him set up uh, we'll go to first waypoint and uh, I'll click that little start button and let him trundle up the field and uh, find his start point well, look at that view, isn't that fantastic? Um, uh, it's a really brilliant, I think, what Oxygen David has done for this map. It's uh, it's fantastic. I have got depth of field on, so my uh, view in the distance is nice and clear, but uh, it really is brilliant. OK, so here's a little start point. You can see the arrow there. Um, so he's just going to swing round, um, and uh, I guess he will probably drop the drill before uh, he just gets to the start point there. Um, and there we go. Okay, so and you can see that we're not kind of in a corner um, and it looks like he's going to sort of head off towards where that sort of clump of trees are. Um, so uh, I'm wondering whether he's kind of, kind of sort of do the bottom half of the field and then uh, work his way up to the top. It'll be interesting really to see um, how that's going to work out. I might bring the course up in um, a little while just uh, to sort of show how he might kind of navigate that. But um, uh, it, pretty smart, pretty clever course players, so I'm sure it's figured it all out, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how uh, um, kind of this develops. Quite a big field here as well, um, so I'm guessing it's going to take a little bit of time, but um, I will um, just kind of leave him to crack on with this for a little bit, and uh, we'll pop back and see how the cultivator is getting on as well. So just got to his uh, first turn, I thought I'd bring the course up um, and you can see that he's skipping a row here. Uh, you can see the uh, circular course going kind of around that clump of trees there um, and it looks like he's going to sort of head down to the bottom uh, kind of road there um, and I'm not quite sure where he'll go after that. I don't know whether he'll fill this section in um, and work back on himself or whether he'll go sort of up the top and uh, complete things but uh, it'll be interesting to see um, how that kind of uh, develops. Right, I'm going to go and check on the cultivator. Now look at that <laughs> stripy field, that's brilliant isn't it? Uh, what a lovely view as well, that's fantastic seeing the sun come up um, in the distance there. Um, and I'm kind of guessing that I think he's probably come to the end of um, his kind of land work this way. 
Um, kind of is fairly close to the headland now, so I'm guessing he might sort of gradually start working his way back across uh, in the opposite direction. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going to align himself up next to this kind of row now and work his way uh, sort of back. So he's um, skipped all his rows uh, and now he's going to sort of head back in the opposite direction. But um, getting on quite nicely over here, so that's really good. And that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Really cool. Okay, so they seem to be getting on with their work quite nicely, uh, which is good. Now we will go and roll um, those drilled fields in once we've kind of finished. And uh, once we've done um, in field 19, it'll go over to field 20. Um, and with the cultivator, we'll move on to field 16 as well. Okay, so next up, I need to go and feed the sheep. I've uh, brought the water bowser down with me. I just need to nip it into the uh, hay barn here and uh, pick up a couple of bales. Um, as you can see, we haven't got that many left, um, which is why we need to go and do um, sort of a final cut on our grass. Uh, so we'll need um, we'll need some hay and we'll also need some silage as well for the cows. Uh, so I'll pick these two up and uh, we'll go up and just uh, fill the troughs. Now I'm not gonna bother uh, cutting this uh, grass in this field. This is kind of grazing grass for the sheep, so I'm gonna leave this as it is. Um, but we will go and do field four that's kind of just over the wall there. Um, so I'm just going to top the water up and uh, I'll just quickly check um, in the menu there, all okay, not completely full but should be good enough for the next couple of days. Okay, I'm just going to um, going to drop this off next to the water tank uh, and then I need to go and pick the Massey Ferguson tractor up, um, go and get the mower and I think I'm probably going to change um, the mower and just get a slightly bigger one. Right, our uh, mass has been into the workshop for um, a little bit of maintenance. Uh, he's all set to go now. Uh, got half a tank of uh, fuel, or just over, um, which should be fine for the uh, for the work that we've got to do this afternoon. Right, I'm going to head round to the cow farm. I'm going to pick our old mower up, um, head on down to the shop, and then uh, I'm going to swap that out uh, for something just a little bit bigger. So this is the existing mower that we've got, um, nothing against it but I just want to get something a little bit larger. We've got a reasonable amount of grass to cut um, so uh, I think uh, something a little bit bigger will do. Um, and you can see field 10 there just over the wall uh, on the right hand side, um, we've got to cut that a little bit later. Um, I'm probably going to do that for silage um, and then uh, down at field 22 uh, which is between two of the fields that we're going to drill uh, today um, we will probably take that for hay and then we've also got that um, hidden uh, grass field that's kind of in the woodland as well that we're going to try and uh, sort out at some point. Right, we're down at the shop. I'm just going to uh, drop this off um, and uh, then get that sold and then we'll go into the uh, shop menu and have a quick look at uh, what we're going to get for a replacement. Nothing too expensive, um, uh, but um, I just want something a little bit bigger. Um, now if we just go into the mower section, um, so what I'm going to do is we've got rid of the one there uh, for 14,000, I'm just going to pick this one up here for 25, so it's going to cost us another 9,000. Um, in fact actually I ought to just double check to see if there's anything in the used vehicle sale, no nothing in there. Um, so I'm just going to pick this up, um, so yes it's going to cost us, we sold the old mower for 14,000, we're going to pick this up for 25, so an extra 9,000. Um, so it's not too, uh, too much but uh, should just help us a little bit with some of our work. Uh, right, it's over there in the car park. I'm just going to uh, jump in the tractor. We'll hook this up and then I'm going to go back up to the cow farm. I'm going to pick up the front mower and then we'll head on down to field 22. Right, here we are. I just need to go and open the gates 
Uh, lots of low hanging trees uh, on these little country lanes. Um, it, not in the first person view, you kind of feel as if you have to duck all the time. Uh, right, I'll just pull him in here and um, I'll just park up and I think I'll have to close the gates again because um, they're nudging into the field so they'll probably get in the way. Um, so uh, I'll just get these shut and there we go. And uh, looks like he's getting on with the drilling, all okay over the field there. Um, so that's good. And uh, right, I'll jump back in and uh, we'll get the mower lowered down and um, then I will use course plate of course and um, get this uh, get this underway and uh, as I mentioned beforehand we are going to ted this grass um, for hay uh, so I'll need to go and pick the tether up and um, uh, bring that uh, down so I'll just get these uh, lowered um, I think I have to drop it all the way just to get the side sections down there we go um, right I'll bring the course plate menu up and um, we can just get this one sorted out Okay, uh, so usual thing, uh, I'll go to create job, um, you can see the field perimeters already kind of come up, so uh, I don't need to change the target or the field position. Um, so 8.5 metres is the width for the uh, the mower, I'm just going to nudge that down a little bit, um, it will do three headlands, uh, I'm going to change this to uh, sharp this time, um, and I'm going to nudge that up to 15% to kind of reduce uh, any sort of um, misses on the corners. Uh, right, let me generate that, there we go, that's come up in the background, um, and uh, the start point pretty much just behind us. I'll just reverse up a little bit and uh, then I'll um, bring up the little menu uh, and I'll select first waypoint again and we'll hit the little start button and uh, she goes. Okay so we're going to do um, this field for hay and um, field 10 that's closest to the cow farm we'll cut that for silage um, and then uh, we've got uh, field four that's um, by the sheep pasture. Um, I'll probably do that for hay as well. I might just wait and see how many bales we get off this field first. And um, and then, then we've got this kind of hidden field that's in this bit of woodland that's just uh, sort of runs alongside field 23. We'll go and have a look at that in a little while. Um, and uh, I might sort of then cut that for silage as well. Um, these sharp turns here, it looks like he's backing into the corner. I think he's going to line the front of the mower up. Um, to where it sort of stopped and um, go off again. So this kind of creates a sort of fairly nice square edge rather than a, a sort of a rounded corner. Got a few stones in the field um, next door. A um, couple of little patches of weed there that I think I must have missed um, when we did the weeding. Um, now I've turned the stones off um, for this uh, sort of gameplay for this series. I'm not really kind of aware of um, too many farmers around our neck of the woods that specifically go stone picking. Uh, we used to years and years ago, um, but that was only to kind of get the biggest um, sort of stones and rocks uh, out of uh, out of the fields that might do some sort of really bad damage to some of your implements and things like that. Um, but uh, I turned it off after I'd kind of done that field, so there were still a few to a few stones in there. Right, I'm going to leave the mower to crack on with this, and I'm going to go and pick the tether up. Our little case tractor is uh, in desperate need of a bit of a clean, but that'll have to wait. Um, and I think the tether could do with a bit of a clean as well. Um, just had a, a little note come up there to say that our AI worker has completed his task. I think that must be the cultivator um, because the drill has still got a few bits and pieces to do. So I suspect he's finished in field 25. Um, so I'll need to go over and transfer him into uh, field 16 so he can start getting on with that one as well. Now this little kind of hidden bit of um, grass uh, field is in this sort of woodland section that's off on the right hand side behind this wall. Um, on the map it looks like a piece of wood but um, uh, or a kind of bit of woodland um, but actually there's a grass field hidden in there which I'm sure um, quite a few of you are already aware of. Um, now there is a little bit of a sort of an access through where the gate is at the bottom of field 23 um, so I might go and have a look at that uh, a little bit later and see if we can sort of clear um, a sort of a path through there that will make it easy to get in and out. Uh, right I need to go and open the gate again um, and then we'll get in and I think uh, that looks like the mower's only just started on his uh, second headland pass uh, so I think I might just sort of park the tether up in the corner for a little while um, and I'll maybe go off and sort the cultivator out uh, and get him moved over to field 16 before I come back and start doing this because um, he'll probably uh, end up catching the mower up. It looks like the drill's uh, getting on okay. Um, uh, I would think he's probably finished all the land work or just about um, and he's uh, starting to do the uh, kind of headland work. Um, certainly doing the circular route around this clump of trees here. Um, so hopefully he will sort of be finished fairly quickly. Um, won't take him too long to do the headland and then I'll move him over into uh, field 20. 
Right, our race, our exit had definitely finished uh, in field 25, so I've moved him over to uh, field 16. We've got the course play set up again, um, and he's just on his third uh, kind of run doing the land work now. So um, uh, uh, I'm going to leave him to crack on with this, um, and uh, hopefully um, the mower's got ahead of the uh, tether now, so I'll be able to get that set up. Now what I'm going to do with the tether is um, I'm actually going to load the course that the mower's on. Um, so I've saved that into a folder um, for field 22. Um, and I'm going to get the tether to actually follow the same course that uh, the mower um, is on. Um, now there's a metre difference in terms of their working width. So um, the tether will end up kind of um, not quite as efficient as it's, I guess it should be. Uh, but that's not too much of a problem. Sometimes when you um, are kind of loading a course and course play um, and you've got two implements working in the field, sometimes one can go in a different direction to the other. Um, so by loading the actual mower course it means that the tether will follow that exact same course and hopefully that means that they kind of won't end up bumping into each other. Now I did read something quite interesting the other day um, on a Facebook page from the Alien Pool that um, Maze Plus is only a couple of weeks away from uh, I think kind of being released um, which is pretty good news and certainly that will change your grass work and um, for those that uh, remember using it in FS19 um, certainly ended up having to ted your grass a few more times but um, at the moment uh, a single tedding pass is sufficient in FS22 um, but uh, uh, that Maze Plus will certainly make things a bit more realistic and um, the farm that I worked on um, during the summer sort of last year I know when they were doing they were cutting grass for haylage um, they were sort of tedding that about three or four times I seem to remember um, so haylage kind of being a bit of a halfway house between um, hay bales and kind of silage uh, so there's um, still a bit of a, a moisture in the uh, in the grass when they kind of bale it um, and wrap it but um, uh, one pass is sufficient at the moment for FS22 so um, that's what we'll kind of do today and um, once we've kind of ted this out uh, then we'll obviously get our baling contractor to come over and um, start doing the baling as well um, and he's got a, a bit of a new toy to play with as well so um, we'll definitely get uh, that uh, sort of in use and uh, see how well that performs. Well, a, another busy day on the farm, but everything seems to be going to plan. So I think we'll um, maybe just sit back and enjoy these guys getting on with some of their work. Okay, so our bailing contractor is down at the field now. Um, he stopped off in uh, field 16 just to watch the 8RX doing a little bit of cultivating work. Uh, but he's made it down here now, and as you can see, he's got a little 6-metre um, windrow on the front of the tractor. Um, now, this has uh, saved us the job of having to windrow uh, the hay separately. Um, so it's saving a little bit of time. Now, it's only 6 metres, um, so uh, I guess its efficiency is not, pro um, not quite as good as the windrow would have been. Um, but uh, uh, he's kind of doing two jobs 
jobs in one so that's pretty good now as you can see up in the um, uh, little menu up in the top right hand uh, corner there we've got some rain clouds threatening and you can see that they're starting to darken up overhead as well um, so uh, I think we're probably going to get a bit of rain fairly soon and uh, we're drifting into the back end of the afternoon and early evening as well so I'm keen to get um, these hay bales in off the field as quickly as I can and I'm probably going to go and uh, get the bale trailer and auto load these um, just for a bit of speed because I think we're going to start running out of time soon uh, so I think that'll be the plan and um, uh, that'll probably be pretty much it for um, the work that we're doing today now before I go, um, I'm down at the bottom of field 23 by the gate uh, that's next to the road here um, and uh, that little grass field, that hidden grass field is up here sort of through these trees. Now it's fairly thin with trees down the bottom here um, uh, so this could be a sort of a fairly good access route but as I wander up here and just go over the rise uh, you will see that we come out into um, a fairly sort of nice and long um, uh, additional kind of field of grass here. Now um, I'm sure quite a few of you uh, have realised that this is already here. Um, on the map it shows it as woodland but uh, as you can see it's just a grass field so I need to create an access point in here so I might do that down by the gate um, although it is a bit steep or I might do something that's up that top end I'm not sure yet um, so this is fairly good in some respects because um, there's only a couple of trees that we probably have to take out but it is quite steep as you can see so um, I'm not 100% sure uh, but that'll be something for the next episode uh, won't be doing that just yet so that's it for the video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, then of course don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that really does help the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, then it'd be great if you could do so. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Um, as always, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, stay safe, take care, and I will catch you on Carmston Farm next time. Bye for now.